Realty. I'm with Oz Lifting Products and today I'm going to be doing a short maintenance video for you on how to basically get down to the brake pads on a chain hoist and lever hoist and just showing you the ease and how short a time it takes to do this. Um, as you can see I have very little bit of tools. It's just an impact driver, a couple sockets and a pliers and that's all you really need to get down to the brake pads. We're starting with our chain hoist. Uh, first thing you do is take the nuts off your cover that has the hand chain on it. Then you can remove your hand chain. Next step is to take your cotter pin out. Remove this castle nut. Unthread the hand wheel. Pull off the brake cover assembly, or the brake cover. And as you can see, we're already down to the brake pads. And at this point, you have one brake pad, a ratchet gear, and another brake pad. At this point, you can either clean the brake surfaces with emery cloth, and not only do you want to do the brake pads themselves, you can do your hub, your ratchet gear, the back side of your um, hand wheel. All that can be cleaned up. And the, these brake pads are very cost efficient where instead of even cleaning it up, you just buy new ones is probably the best way to go. But again, even if you buy new pads, you still want to clean all your surfaces. Now we're ready to reassemble the hoist. Uh, while you're at this point, a couple things to look for. Um, just check your poles. Make sure there isn't excessive wear um, or anything like that on, uh, on the poles. Make sure your springs still work good, um, that there's not any contamination in them that might have to be cleaned up as well. Um, so after you have your brake pads ready to go, you put your first brake pad on. And then you put your ratchet gear on, and it is important that you put the ratchet gear the correct way. I'll put it on backwards, and you can see that the, the, the paws do not align into the slots. So it's very important that you have the ratchet gear that it aligns, and you can tell it clicks. That's very important. And you put your second brake pad on. And that thing is put your cover on. Then you thread your hand wheel back on. And you can hold your side of the chain and make sure you hear the clicking. That means it's down tight. Another very important step is when you put your castle nut back on. Thread it on until it, it, it bottoms out. And then what you want to do is turn it back at least two slots to ensure that the hand wheel can unthread off the brake pads. See that little bit of movement before it hits the castle nut? You have to be able to unthread off your brake pad, otherwise if you have this nut tight, when you go down, it'll drag. Put your cotter pin back in. At this point, Put your hand chain on, just make sure it works freely back and forth. Install your cover and the nuts. And then just make sure in the up direction you hear it clicking and it goes really in a down direction and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to show you the lever hoist. First thing you do, remove the cotter pin, castle nut, pop the hand wheel off, 
remove this teardrop piece. And this is a very important piece, especially when we uh, go back to assembly that I'll show you later. Now, take off the four nuts that hold the brick cover and handle on. And at this point, at this point, you can kind of hold the chain and unthread this whole piece. And now you will have you're down to the brake pads. The spring is another important piece. Don't lose that. And as you can see, you have your first brake pad, just like the chain hoist or ratchet gear, and your second brake pad. As I explained on the chain hoist, you want to clean all your faces that the brake pads touch. And also you can either clean the brake pads or like we recommend just get new ones. Uh, same thing, check your paws, check they move freely, just like the chain hoist. So on assembly, put your bottom brake pad in. Same thing with the ratchet gear. You want to ensure that you have it the correct way, locking in. Second brake pad, your spring. Now you can thread your as you can see the, the cover dropped all the way down you want to hold that chain again make sure you hear it clicking put your four nuts on Now this is where we put this teardrop in. Again, you want to hold your chain, turn this, make sure you hear it clicking. And at that point, take your teardrop and you want to have it evenly spaced in between these two parts of the hand wheel. As you can see, that's even. Now when you back this off, it'll turn freely. Again, tighten it back up. Put your hand wheel on. And it should bottom out. You can see it hit the collar there. Thread your castle nut on. Again, this one you can have close to tight, maybe just a, a little bit back. You don't have to do the two turns like uh, the castle nut does on the chain hoist. That's what that teardrop inside does. Put your pin back in and you're ready to go. You want to make sure that free wheel is decent. Locks in. As you can see it clicks. Same thing when you go in reverse. Hold the chain. Make sure it reverses. If you have any more questions, please visit our website, oslifingproducts.com, or give us a call.